the cow was truly on the lamb. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. Hi, everyone. I'm Jessica Jean. Attempts to corral the cow happened near one of the city's busiest highways during the morning rush. She escaped from a live nativity scene at 4th and Race and was spotted at the I-95 ramp at Callow Hill Street. Police officers chased her to 2nd and Willow Streets where she was captured and returned to the nativity. Then about two hours later, she escaped from the nativity again and was found nearby in a parking garage at 4th and Market. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance has more on the then and now of this wandering cow. Oh man, it's a big girl. Stormy, now stored in this carrier, has been making waves in downtown Philadelphia. I'm really glad that like he's become a local celebrity. The 1,500 pound seven year old cow busted out of the gate for the live nativity scene at Old First Reform United Church of Christ in Old City Thursday morning and made her way down 4th Street before being captured on the ramp of I-95. Holy cow. <laughs> That's what cars are probably saying. She lucky. Why? Because she's been in North Philadelphia. She's she been in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> it was soda for me. That's a great story. Like, that's a positive story that Philadelphia needs to hear. So that the cow shut down traffic. Yes, it's much better than the regular Google traffic or I-95 traffic. We'll take a cow any day. Farmer Scott Moser helped wrangle the cow. She's a real mellow, sweet cow and nothing really phases her. Figured out that she can push this gate open and now she's playing with it. Pastor Michael Kane witnessed that for himself. While I was inside right in front looking the window, um, I watched her push with all her weight and it wasn't totally closed mm -hmm. right. She pushed it open, so that was her second escape. There's a loose cow on the highway again. Philly firefighter Thomas Kane tried to help. So I said, let's go, let's go find him. And we went looking, but here it just crossed the street and went uh, to the Wyndham, the parking lot. After the second breakout, the pastor decided to send Stormy back to her farm. And although Stormy's on her way back to the farm she came from, the pastor replaced her with Ginger. Ginger is actually Stormy's daughter. She just doesn't have the body mass to force the gate open like Stormy did. Padlocks and stronger chains are also now on the door. Not everyone found Stormy's escape funny. You know, just for entertainment, it doesn't seem worth it. Yeah. She'll let them go back home or somewhere safe. I think it's nice that he gets to go back home. Clearly, like, a bigger cow needs a bigger field. In Old City, Shante Lands, <laughs> CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And the Philadelphia Police Department had some fun with their cow caper this morning. At one point, they tweeted, you know, you start your day saying, well, being a cop is a tough job, but at least I won't have to catch a cow today. But wouldn't you know it, you're wrangling a bovine. And then you say, well, at least I'll never have to do that again. 